When darkness falls, turning day into night, I can't help but fear what might give me a fright. My evening routine before heading to sleep is checking the coast is clear with a peep. This time, however, it played out differently. And what I saw, I could not unsee. I raced out of the room and straight to my folks, looking white as some eggs without any yolks. Mum, Dad, I'm full of dread. There's a mobster under my bed. <laughs> they laughed it off and calmed me down, but I would not, could not shake my frown. There's no such thing as a monster, dear. No, 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 no. You miss here. It's a real mobster in a pinstripe suit. Such a wild imagination. It's adorably cute. I took the situation into my own hands, becoming the hero the occasion demands. I leant over the bed and peeked under the side. And there was the mobster attempting to hide. I mustered the strength and ability to speak. Excuse me, mister? I let out with a squeak. He stared me down, looked me straight in the eyes and motioned for me to join him, much to my surprise. I slid under the bed and next to the gangster, asking a question to which I needed an answer. You're on private property, so be very clear. Can you please tell me what you're doing here? The thing is, kid, I'm laying low, because I ain't got nowhere else to go. I'm on the run and I can't stop or get caught. Hiding in safety's my only thought. I was compelled to do something for the surprise mobster man, but I couldn't be hasty. I needed a plan. Tell your story in detail. Don't miss a part. I need plenty of info. So start from the start. Hesitating, the mobster wanted to refuse, then stated... Sure. What have I got to lose? He cleared his throat, then regaled his tail. On the ocean of imagination, my mind set sail. A few years back, I fell in with the mob. They wanted a driver to drive in a job. What do I do now that I'm in cahoots? You sit in the car. You see something, you totes. I was the best driver that they ever saw. From racketeering to holdups and drive-bys galore. But Ma, really, this job had filled me with doubt. So I proudly declared, one last job and I'm out. You have plenty of skeletons stuck in your closet. How many good fellas did you help kick the bucket? That's not fair. They were all bad guys. Everyone's innocent in their own eyes. I swear I'm good. I've turned it around. Then enlighten me with the guiltlessness that you found. Into the mob, they'd snuck in a rat. Completely disguised, including pinstripe hat. <laughs> Having been undercover for a number of years, he started whacking mobsters without any fears. Oh, this rat was real slick. He worked for the cops. He took gangsters out with silenced pop pops. What are you doing? I let out with a sigh. He replied, Don't try and be such a wise guy. The rat was a pig. It's confusing, I know. But he'd cornered me and now I had nowhere to go. You'll help me remove the Godfather, the Don, or else you'll end up, how shall I say, gone. Weren't you afraid of him, telling on you? I had an agreement, one I trusted to be true. Didn't work out as well as you thought. You're a good detective. It's an epiphany onslaught. 
So how did it end between you and the mob? Let me share the details of my one last job job. The plan was real simple. Whack the Don and get out. Even the rat was nervous. He had a sweaty snout. The Don approached. We couldn't stop fretting. What do you want? It's my daughter's wedding. Tomorrow. Don, I'm telling you, you're coming with me. I'm a detective with Precinct 63. Well, how does it end? Is it all doom and gloom? Only I got out alive. Bada bing, bada boom. Whack my protection, huh? Come out, give up. Uh, your partner is my hostage, and you ain't got no backup. Let him go. We'll leave and never speak of this again. I'm sorry, but that's not happening. You've caused too much pain. Your weapon is down. You are destined to fail. You've clearly underestimated the power of junk mail. But... Such a detailed tale. Thanks for sharing with me. But I'm afraid this ain't the end of your story. Come now, little one. Don't be so smug. You're a mobster, a murderer, a criminal, a thug. You might have noticed a strong line of questions. You've been caught in a trap and now justice beckons. I got you. You're stuck. I've called the police. I've recorded this whole conversation. Capiche? I love gangster movies. I've seen them all. From Mean Streets and Dick Tracy to The Untouchables. I've seen Scarface, Casino and Goodfellas too. But especially my favourite, The Godfather Part 2. I had lived my own movie. I've told my own story. And it had left me real sleepy and incredibly yawny. I was left to my dreams after soft hugs and kisses. And I fell asleep easily, sleeping with the fishes. <laughs> <laughs> 